going on you guys this is Anderson Anderson's garage here today working on the C55 um, what I'm going to be doing is installing this transmission mount for any Mercedes or other cars with a 722.6 transmission um, what I did is I uh, used a ADA uh, polyurethane and filled this original housing I'll show you guys mine that's in there right now um, it's only been on there for like 15k or so and um, it's definitely already starting to sag so yeah we're gonna swap this out today but I figured I would at least show you guys what's going on <clears throat> all right so here's the car it's a 05 C55 AMG let me go ahead and show you what we got going on right here transmission I have a piece of piece of wood on the uh, pan to uh, just support the transmission once I swap that mount out. Here is the old mount. Can't really tell, but um, I can tell just from looking at it that that point is starting to sag. Um, and I just want to swap it out anyway. So, yeah, there is those two bigger bolts. Hard to see, but two bigger bolts on each side, 16 millimeter. And then there are two 13 millimeter right there. Um, and you want to support the transmission just a little bit take those two bolts out uh, once those are out you can lift it up a little bit more then take these two other bolts out the 16 millimeter after that slide your new one in make sure mine has a ground wire so make sure that goes in the same spot um, and then once you get that back in the 16 millimeters are torqued down to uh, 45 to 50 newton meters and the 13 millimeter bolts are torqued down uh, to 25 newton meter so you want to put those ones in and then lower the transmission back down make sure your holes align for this bottom section and then put those in and then torque them down once everything is uh, dropped down all right back again got the old one out let's go ahead and take a look so the original styles are basically they only fill like that center portion uh, you can see that bar going across and that's really the only thing that holds them up after time where it's torn up at the top is just a thin like rubber layer it's not really there for support at all um, so this one definitely already started sagging it's really not even that old um, so yeah what I did is I used uh, this product right here ADA liquid urethane and I forget the site that uh, you get this from, but uh, if you search this, you'll be able to see it. It's just a DIY polyurethane kit. And I will show you the new one in the car now. Uh, I'll see if I can get a good shot of it. <clears throat> see. Yeah, so you can see that one's in there. It's all solid on the sides. Uh, I did have to adjust my uh, chassis bracket just a little bit. Um, so I had to undo these and slide it forward a bit um, just to align these bolts down here at the bottom. And these are also uh, 50 Newton meters if you do have to adjust. And they're the same size as these bolts up here, 16, 16 uh, millimeter. All right, so that's it. I will, uh, whew, I'll get back to you guys with a uh, drive review, initial initial feel, and maybe an update later on. So, I'm just kind of driving around in my neighborhood right now to make sure it's not going to be any more extreme than what I'm feeling right now. There probably is going to be a little bit of break-in, hopefully, um, probably in a couple days' use, but for now, um, it's definitely like first and second gear are um, definitely making making more noise and then um, uh, you can just hear a lot more too I can hear engine noise and uh, transmission doing it once um, it does seem to be it feels a little crisper like shifting wise and it kind of knows what gear to stay in a little better it seems like from just initial feeling
that right around uh, 2,000 RPM is when it kind of vibrates the most. Um, right now I'm at like 1,500. Um, just cruising and can't really notice any difference with it right now. Um, so I usually do all my work out of my parents' garage because we don't really have space where we live, my wife and I. So, and it's about 40, 35, 40 miles away. Um, so I'm kind of driving it around over here to make sure I'm cool with it before I take back, uh, take off back home. Um, I think it's okay, but I'm just going to drive around a few more times and double check it. So I will update you guys uh, in a bit. All right. So final conclusions. Uh, made it home so <laughs> that's always good um, yeah I took it on the freeway uh, got it home and really the only vibration that's still happening is um, as it's climbing gears it'll around 2000 rpm seems to be uh, the most vibrational point um, but yeah as far as like the pluses of this um, the transmission definitely knows what it's doing a little better like it's staying in gear um, I've tried out comfort mode sport mode and manual mode um, and it just seems to know what gear um, to be in a little more than it was before um, these transmissions are pretty bulletproof but people know that uh, they're pretty slow shifting and uh, don't always know what gear to be in so um, yeah that's a plus hello again so quick update just did the update for the engine mounts and trying to keep these videos separate just in case uh, anybody's looking for different things so now i'm going to update you guys with how the polyurethane mount went for the transmission um and the results were not great <laughs> i'll be honest with you guys um that solid one that i made the first time around that i showed you guys uh, at the beginning of this video you know it, just, it was just too too stiff too solid um it's not close enough uh representing to the stock mount um if i were to go back and do it i would have tried to design it closer matching the clk 63 black series transmission mount um, which if you look or i can pop one on screen um has a certain design to it and it basically has just a rubber stronghold on the bottom portion of the mount um and you'll see if I compare the pictures on there right now, um, you'll see uh, what I mean by that. Um, but the one that I made was it was too stiff. The durometer was too high um, at ADA. Maybe if I had done a similar design using a, a, a lower durometer, maybe 60A, um, could have worked. But for what I was trying to do, um, just didn't turn out the great. It, it made shifts crisp and there was nothing wrong in that aspect. Um, the shifts were great. It did improve that, but it came with just too much vibration. Um, the whole drivetrain just became really noisy. Uh, my seat felt like I was sitting in a vibrating chair um, <laughs> or a massage chair. And to be honest, I was a little bit worried about the flex discs um, on the drive shaft because if that's staying so stiff, then those are going to be the counterparts that are going to take up the brunt of the vibration. And because at that point I had the um, polyurethane engine mounts and the transmission mount, then the flex disc were definitely going to be the one taking the abuse. Um, and I just didn't want that uh, to be the case, uh, especially since those are on my necks to do as far as um, repairs or uh, just maintenance, preventative maintenance. So what I ended up doing um, is first I took out the transmission mount um, that I had filled with the polyurethane and I then uh, started to drill holes uh, just to give it a bit more flex. I used a Dremel to kind of Dremel down the um, both sidewalls of the polyurethane um, to give it more flex and I got it to be able to be flexed by hand when it, when it was all the way solid I couldn't even move it with my thumb at all 
So I got it to a point where it was easy enough to flex, but still had a lot of um, solidity to it. So I installed that back in and with the motor mounts, and it was a lot better than before, um, but it was still, you know, I drove with it for about a week and it was just still uh, too much vibration to be happy with for this being my daily driver. And um, the shifts were definitely crisper um, and the transmission knew what gear to be in, uh, it seemed like a lot better, but trading that off for as much vibration as there was just wasn't worth it to me. Um, so I, what I did is I took that mount that I had filled, I basically plunged out the whole top portion of it and just left the bottom, um, bar, like a, a bottom piece of polyurethane running along the bottom and I filled it with silicone around that and ended up uh, wrapping the edges around so that piece wouldn't come out. Um, so, and that's worked really well. I've had that for the last four or five days and that's been the best result. Um, it gives me confidence that I'll still have the durability for the transmission mount, um, but I don't have to deal with as much vibration as I was. So. Um, that's a cool part of that for now. Um, uh, thank you guys for watching and, uh, hope you guys enjoy. You guys will be seeing more from the Anders End garage and, uh, yeah, keep working on your cars, get out there. Don't be afraid to try stuff. Um, and I'm glad to share this stuff with you guys. So thank you for watching. Take care. See you guys next time. And if you're looking for more uh, Mercedes or W203 or AMG uh, content, um, I'll definitely be putting more stuff up because there's not much out there for the C55, especially um, only a couple other guys that I know that are, that are putting videos out for the C55 right now. Um, so I definitely want to add to that because it's a cool car and, you know, I want to help be a resource for other people. So. All right, that's about it. See you guys next time.